Well, I was going to say there's a message they want to send to you about with the fall, um, you know, doing something here, going on some sort of adventure together, exploring this connection together. As it is, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. So this could be your person saying that they understand that <sighs> the way this connection stands, it's not the most maybe encouraging or you're having to do a really um, good job here of keeping your morale up. You know, um, they kind of feel like they're not showing you really truly how amazed they are by you, how into you they are. Um, so for some of you, they might know if you're uh, wearing a really convincing mask to show that you're happy, you're confident, you're doing your own thing. They can kind of tell that deep down um, something about this connection is making you feel a little bit sad. OK. Here it is. Here is that page of cups. OK, six of pentacles, page of cups in the reverse, tower and temperance. So this business of your person juggling you, someone else, you and something else, you know, work, um, hobbies or juggling between you and parents or their love for you or their affection for you and fear, that's going to end soon. I feel the divine is stepping in and saying enough, you know, the tower. So, what comes after the tower? Healing, temperance, balance. So, if you feel that communication has been stunted, or there's been no communication, you've been an option, you know, your person's been breadcrumbing you deliberately or otherwise, they haven't had enough time for you, that it's enough, spirit's saying enough, that's over, that needs to end. Three of Wands, so your person actually is, is partly manifesting this tower, whether they realise it or not. Justice in reverse, because they understand they're not treating you right, and they also feel that it's unfair. They want to be able to speak with you more. They want to be able to express how they feel. They want, you know, to have more time if it's time they don't have, or they want to be single if they're in a commitment, you know, whatever's tying them up, they want to be free of that to be able to express to you. Okay, what else, please, Spirit? Messages for my viewer from their person. Age of Cups in reverse. If your person pulled away, if they've become cold emotionally, distant, or, you know, they, they really are distant from you physically, um, there's no communication, maybe. Spirit's saying this towel moment is going to bring them back around to you. Because, look, it's been stuck. This energy feels pretty stagnant. It's either been the same for a bit too long. Um, things have been imbalanced for too long. Uh, they've been breadcrumbing you for too long, you've had to be patient for too long, and it's it's just enough. I keep hearing the word enough, and I'm actually seeing it in my mind in capital letters. On the back, we have the sun in reverse. There's so much potential here, so much potential for happiness, joy, growth, abundance of all kinds, and it's been on hold for too, too long. We've got the queen of pentacles on the back, the lovers in reverse with the Hierophant. So someone here is in a commitment that they're not happy about. A commitment to a spouse, karmic, um, a commitment to a job. It's weighing this person down. I think this is probably your person rather than you. Um, it might look good on the surface. It might look sort of um, respectable or traditional or whatever was important for your person in the past. But um, it's it's not good it, it's very much a connection that's in its shadow aspect your person probably became involved in this connection or this situation because they were acting from you know their wounds or their shadow side um doing what they thought they should what other people would congratulate them for what other people would appreciate or admire yeah they have a lot to say to you um, okay, so let's get some more detail here. Okay, Page of Cups, Justice in Reverse. Why does this person feel like this situation is unfair? The situation with my viewer. <clears throat> Nine of Wands. They too feel like it's been a real struggle. Um, yeah, and look, see how this person has two heads. It's been a struggle because they've been fighting with themselves. Like I said, a decision are they going to succumb to fear 
Are they going to push forward and, and explore this connection with you and have faith and trust? Are they going to listen to themselves? Are they going to listen to others? Whatever the dilemma has been here, they've been, it, it's like a tug of war, but both sides have been equally as strong. So there's been no movement. And that's why we have that Knight of Pentacles in reverse and spirits <laughs> like, look, this is ridiculous. I'm going to take a saw and I'm going to cut the rope and then we'll get movement. So a towel moment is, is really needed here. Oh, who do we have? Taurus, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Leo, Libra so far, specifically. Um, okay, what else? Page of Cups, Justice, please. Four of Pentacles. Yep, this person has been holding on to something that was born out of their shadow side and um, it's been holding them from you. And they don't want it anymore. Spirit agrees it's not for their highest and best good. So it's going in favour of the lovers. You see a battle between the shadow and the light, between other people and themselves, society and what they know is best for them. I kind of feel there's been a purpose here. I mean, you know, we say everything happens for a reason. So it's not that this has been a waste of time or something like that. Maybe your person had to really get themselves stuck into something that's quite unpleasant to have that momentum to stand up for themselves, to come after this connection, you know, um, to fight for this. Maybe they've learned some valuable lessons as well. Okay, let's have a look at this tower card. Tell us about the tower, please, with the Age of Cups. Four of Swords. So this person is going to come forward looking for balance, stability, healing with you. I believe that um, when the tower moment happens, there might be a period where your person is quiet because they need to, to mend themselves, to reflect, to pause. And I always think that's quite good because you don't want someone running towards you, you know, straight after this this tower you know you don't want them bleeding needing you to sew them up bringing their sort of um, their wound with them okay what else please okay knave of cups in reverse page of cups in the reverse and the moon in the reverse so bringing forward this communication that's so 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 overdue is what i'm feeling clearing up confusion You've been, I feel this a lot in, in these recent um, collective readings, you've been having to trust your intuition so much because look, King of Cups in reverse, this person, my goodness, and strength, they've really been holding their emotions, um, pushing their emotions down, keeping their emotions for you quiet. And they've been doing so well at that that you've probably at times even asked yourself, am I crazy? Is this true? Do they have feelings after all? Okay, temperance, please. Okay, way too much. Temperance, please. Okay, we have the five of swords that's just slipped out. So arguments, conflicts, you in your mind, doubting yourself sometimes possibly, or arguments between you and your person. Look at all of this spying, watching going on. That's going to be mended. That's going to be healed. Six of Wands, yeah, success, victory. For some of you, this could even be a proposal, an engagement, other people celebrating with you, cheering you on. If your person's had a bit of an ego or they've been trapped by their ego, that's being soothed as well. Two of Swords in reverse. See? An energy of being stuck, not wanting to make a decision, not wanting to even look at the options because both seem like they come with challenges. That's in reverse. Blockages are being removed here. This is great. I mean, it just, yeah, look, hanged man. It's been, wherever your connection is, I feel it's been there for, for too long. Um, much too long. So now we're getting movement happening. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so let's get some characteristics about your person here. Okay, so I'm hearing four, so we'll just pull, pull four. Wow. 
We get this pretty much every week. We have mentally or emotionally unstable. And do you know why? Because this person has been putting their um, reputation or image or what other people want before, what they need, what they want. They've not been living a life that's in alignment. So of course they're feeling stressed out, you know, and unstable in some way. Okay, we have feminine masculine balance and we do have the lovers card here twice. So this could be saying both of you um, are feeling, you know, very whole, even on your own, you're feeling um, that you have a good balance going on, you've been through a lot, you've both become strong, you've balanced out your, your the energy within you. This can also be saying in certain ways you feel like you, um, you really complement one another. We have peaceful. This is it. Without you, your person feels like this, pushing your connection away, trying to do something that's not really, that, you know, just doesn't resonate with them on a soul level. It leaves them feeling unstable. When it comes to you, because you so easily complement one another, they feel peaceful. It feels natural. It feels, it feels easy. It kind of feels, you know, right. And another classic on these readings, highly sexual. This is someone with a, a strong, high sex drive here. Um, again, maybe that's the energy you've, you've primarily seen from this person. Um, you might be wondering, how do they feel? Are they st still attracted to me? This is a yes. And we have confident on the back. So this is someone who is confident or other people buy into the, the image of this person being confident. You might see that there's some vulnerability there. Okay, so let's look at some um, descriptions about this person's situation. What do they want to say to you? I just saw insomnia flip over, so this could be someone who suffers with insomnia or they're just not sleeping right now. Oh wow, we have singles. So this is a single person. Um, if you've been wondering if they have a secret relationship, I, I don't think so. If you know your person has been in a relationship, um, it looks like they are single now or they're becoming single, just to extend this to broaden it out as well. Whatever this Queen of Pentacles is or who it represents, like I said, if it's work, your person, it might have felt like they were committed to work. Maybe now they're um, setting firmer boundaries. On the back, I can see we have lives with others. So it could be that your person has stayed in a situation relationship marriage even if they live with let's say parents or something like that and they're there because it makes practical sense or financial sense but emotionally they're very much like a single entity independent doing their own thing self-employed so they might be self-employed or wanting to become self-employed um, i feel for some of you you could also be self-employed yeah we have in a relationship i'm getting this energy that it looks like your person's in some kind of relationship, romantic or otherwise, and they might live with a person, some people. But if you were to see behind, you know, at the end of the day when the door is closed and the curtains are, um, are also closed, if you were to be on the other side to see what's going on in the house, you would see that, that your person, this other person or these people, they all actually have quite separate lives. Okay, we have drugs, so someone could be taking drugs quite literally, or something to numb, you know, that two of swords energy, I don't want to see, I don't want to think about it, I don't want to know because I can't see a solution, so let me try and find an escape instead. Um, I definitely feel they're coming out of that now with the tower. And we have smoker, so yeah, something um, like a, a crutch that someone has been leaning on. What's on the back? And look crazy these two always come out emotional or psychological impairment so in deliberately impairing uh, themselves with with some sort of distraction here you know something to uh, to take the edge off and maybe getting you know not just taking the edge off but <laughs> just you know removing the thing removing it from their mind okay So let's get some channeled messages to you from your person. Okay, what else does this person want to say to my viewer, please, Spirit? 
we have insecure and that's exactly what I felt. This person is really good at convincing others that, that they're incredibly confident but you can see their insecurities and actually in the past that may have scared them, they may not have liked that. We have don't want to hear from you right now so it could be that they're saying I really feel stressed, I'm not my best self, I don't want you to see me like this but let's let's keep going and see. Yes, overpower me. This is someone who ordinarily, they might like to be very much in charge of themselves and their life, but they're kind of saying, I'm so stressed. I've been so stressed. I almost wish that you could just, t you know, appear and tell me what to do, how to do it, when to do it. You know, to take away the some of my decisions that I have to make, some of the responsibilities that I have. So I feel like they're saying, I almost can't handle hearing from you right now because... When we speak, even if it's a quick, small conversation, it means a lot to me. It's a big deal. I don't want to just quickly fire off a message that says, yes, OK, or um, no problem, see you at seven, whatever. You know, this person invests every time they see you and they speak to you and um, they really want to be in the best frame of mind that they can be. They don't want you to be like an afterthought or, oh, I've got five minutes while I'm waiting for, for some water to boil. I'll, you know, I'll reply now. Um... They want to make time for you. I messed up. Wow. Okay. Tell us more, please. Um, I like your family and or friends. So they can see themselves being a part of your world, a part of your family, your community, um, being... Uh, on good terms with your friends here so they've imagined you know how would they slot into your life and they kind of think quite well <laughs> um, if they do say so themselves you know they they like the people around you i feel this i messed up because of their insecurities maybe not trusting you not trusting this connection because of past experiences um not maybe wondering to themselves how can you feel so strongly about them if you really saw the truth of who they were you wouldn't like it so they were insecure in themselves and possibly pushed you away maybe that's when they were telling you i don't want to hear from you um because if you got any closer than you already were you would start seeing even more about them things they didn't want you to see but i kind of think you already saw um the parts of them they were trying to hide and maybe you knew things about them that they were ashamed of anyway this will never work um, yeah i'm going to call or message you so they might be saying please give me um time to figure some things out and then i'm going to reach out to you um and you're in the spotlight so in some way this person sees you getting the attention of other people or dealing with lots of people um normally this comes out with a card around or something to do with jealousy but actually I think it goes with this this card about seeing and knowing your family, your friends, your community. And they're kind of saying, you know, I think I could get on board with that. Maybe they feel they've got something to bring, something to offer. They With that self-employed card, they might want to team up with you in some way, whether it's to do with actual work or a project here. But this will never work. They just feel a bit overwhelmed, you know. I feel I feel stressed out. There's so much I've got to think about. So many changes I've got to make. I wish somebody else could just do it all for me. Um, I don't really believe they deep down feel it will never work. It. I think they're just exhausted right now, if I'm honest. So yeah, give them some time and they'll get them the, themselves together. And I do think they're going to reach out to you. Um, because they messed up once already, you know, by not prioritising this or deliberately pushing you away. Let's get one more for you're in the spotlight because that's really interesting. Normally this this is um, a card of concern. You know, you're in the spotlight, you get so much attention, you could have anyone. But your person feels kind of excited about this. Okay, you're in the spotlight. Tell us more, please. We have... I followed you, but you didn't realise. So if you if you... I don't know, whatever you do, if you're in the spotlight in social media or, or something like that, or in your community, 
this person is might actually be part of of your audience or your community without you realizing um so you see they want to get close they want to be in this doing this with you but they, they haven't quite revealed themselves or revealed this to you we have when's the next bus out of here so they might feel overwhelmed by this sometimes he or she isn't good enough for you this is the thing if they do have competition or if they're seeing lots of people giving you attention there's not so much a sense of jealousy, it's more that they have this certainty that they're the one for you, that other people are not good enough for you. Um, if you are in a relationship with one specific person, then you're, the person you're thinking about now could be saying that person's not good enough for you. Maybe they're wanting that person to get on a bus and leave. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, you're not really feeling um, a sense of threat or fear or anything like that. I'm feeling excitement. I feel that there's potential. There's something you're doing. And this kind of came through in the bonus reading I did yesterday about are they watching you? Are they spying on you? This person sees potential. There's something you're doing and they want to get in on this with you. Again, not in a greedy, selfish way, but... They think they have something to give, contribute, to bring. They can see themselves teaming up with you on this. And they obviously feel pretty confident because there's there's not there's no sense of insecurity here. They do feel like they're the best person for this. You know, other people aren't good enough. I followed you, but you didn't realise. So I'm here, I'm present, I'm around you, I'm involved, but you don't quite know that I'm here yet. Okay. Okay, what else, please, Spirit? Let's see. You are never far from my mind. So, yep, they're thinking about you a lot. I actually feel you're never far from them. Um, again, maybe you're friends on Facebook, but you don't know it. Maybe they're actually speaking to you on some sort of platform, but you don't know it's them. I feel this person's closer to you than you know, closer than you think. My family and upbringing are a bigger factor than I realised, absolutely. And that's how they got themselves in this situation over here that they don't like, that doesn't feel good. It's to do with upbringing, family, uh, friends, community, other people's beliefs, opinions, ideas, traditions. It may have taken them going through this particular experience to realise, you know what, that's, that life is not for me. That situation, that job, that career, that religion, this relationship, you know, that, that whatever it is for them, that, that's not working for me, that's not what I want. Okay, what else, please? Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't follow through with my promises. So they've let you down in some way, for some of you, and they're saying, I know I messed up. Even though I don't show it, I'm sorry for how things went between us. Exactly. So they feel they um, promised something, led you on, led you to believe something, whether they verbally did this or did it through action, energy, suggestion. Yeah, I'm working towards a better future by releasing things that aren't serving them by stepping up you know stepping into alignment stepping into their power um really truthfully being who they are and and having the strength to um withstand any uh backlash from anyone but also again there is something here about work teaming up with you this person wants to do something with you a project with you they can see some way in which you could work together on something or do something together. Something you might already be doing. Please don't take what happened personally. It's not you, it's me. Yeah, so them pushing you away. It wasn't about you, it wasn't personal. It was because of their insecurities. Oh, I wish I could take back the things I said. Oh, what did they say? 
Sometimes this is also the things they didn't say. <clears throat> you know, if they had an opportunity to speak a truth, to bring some kind of clarity, and they let that pass them by. Yeah, I'm still haunted by my actions. Absolutely. You can see how much regret this person's carrying. Um, because they had, you know, an amazing connection with you in front of them, the lover's energy. And they turned around and they walked towards something they thought they could use to replace your connection because it is the lover's card. But look, it's reversed, which is very much the lover's in its shadow side, you know, like the devil energy, um, which can definitely be something karmic. So it might be that they did have some some karma to pay off a karmic debt. Um, they had to go and learn some sort of karmic lesson, perhaps how they treated you if it was, you know, a bit messed up. Maybe that's what they've been through with someone else or something else. On the back, you've affected my life significantly, and you still are, and a lot of this has been affecting them internally, emotionally, um, impacting the way they, they think about things, but I know I keep on, I really feel there's some way in which this person is saying, and now I can see myself working with you in terms of employment, finances, I can see us doing some sort of project together, so really, every aspect of their life you know you are affecting that's how important this is your connection to them how important you are to them and you know obviously they take you very seriously okay so let's finish with these last messages so we'll see what comes through could be messages from a person it might be from spirit so a bit of advice maybe a bit of guidance i would say in terms of advice and guidance if you're interested in some let things play out for a minute you know see what happens here because there's a tower moment coming in your person is is um you know fall to the brim with with things to do they're stressed they're tired um if you reach out to them and they reply if you know it's a text you're sending or something you're probably going to get a really small message that might feel disappointing but it, it's honestly it's not personal it's just that the second they've sent that, they've got to do something else. So they're saying, please give me a moment. Let me reach out to you because I will know when I do that, that I have the time to really um, give our conversation, our interaction, the attention it deserves. So, um, and you know, whatever, you do, whatever you're doing, I think keep doing it um, because it's really helping this person to imagine and see how you can have a future together in a very practical sense as well. Yeah, okay. So, anything else, please, Spirit? Anything else? Okay, we have a couple here. So, we have reflection. Yes, give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. And this card looks rather passionate. You're a highly sexual person. Yeah, passion. A magnetic and seductive quality. Surround you at present. Enjoy it. And it really does. And it's not just because you're obviously, you know, very attractive physically to your person and, and internally, your energy and all of those good things that we cover. There is something maybe you have become passionate about. There is something you're doing that is making you even more attractive to your person. Okay, and I believe this card's about healing. Yes, healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So, of course, if you want to, you can. That's a lovely thing to do. But I feel this is saying the best action to take right now is sort of quiet action behind the scenes it's very gentle energy it's it's kind of healing it's wishing for the highest and best good of all and it's allowing your person a bit of breathing room and allowing them to take the action towards you and we've got playfulness so i think this person is lacking playfulness and um you know that's going to be really important as they come towards you to have to make sure that, that you keep this connection light and playful in addition to all of this intense emotion passion you know you want to have fun together okay so i think that's everything i've got for you today um i'm going to do the one question one card now so if you're sticking around great if you want to leave a question for friday's one question one card draw please put your question in the comments thank you to everyone who already has you know who did it for today 
Um, what else? Yes, Friday. Friday I will be doing um, anything that's hidden, anything you need to know, anything that will help you to know in this connection. So anything that's a blockage, blessings, you know, anything really that wants to come through. And um, yeah, I hope this reading has been helpful. Thank you for being here. Let's do the one question, one card. Okay, so today's winner is Morning Jay, but you signed off as Rita. And you want to know the future and the truth of this relationship because you said he's married. And so that's that. But let's have a look. So Spirit, what messages do you have, please, for Rita? What is the future and what is the truth of this relationship? Oh my goodness. No, I... This is so big. I don't know why I thought I would try. <laughs> look, look, look. It's so big. I cannot shuffle that way. Okay. Let me rethink. Let's do it like this. Okay. What is the future and what is the truth of this relationship? The king of wands in, re in reverse. So your person is definitely someone who's saying, I need to do things my way um, on my time for now. This does seem like someone who's being a little bit inflexible at this time. So I would say um, trying to reason with this person, you know, um, trying to convince them of anything or compromise. That's just not going to happen. Let's see. There's a bit of stubbornness. We have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. And the Six of Wands in the reverse. This person's doing something right now that, that is for their own growth as in for their soul's growth or to learn some kind of lesson there's a real stubbornness a real hard-headedness here your person is very much saying i'm doing this it's because i want to do it i need to do this no i won't listen to reason i'm not going to transform um, i'm not going to evolve this is me this is who i am you know you either like it or leave it um, but we have the six of wands in reverse they're not going to get far with this attitude and whatever they're doing maybe even this marriage included i don't think it's going to be the success you know that he he thinks it's going to be we have the sun in reverse on the back so it looks to me rita like your person he feels that he's you know putting himself first doing what he wants what he needs to do um but it's like his ego is going to take a hit and this is this needs to happen. I feel that he um, is actually on track. You know, he's he's kind of following the path that is the best path for him at this time because he does need to learn this lesson. I think it's going to be a bit of a rough lesson, if I'm honest, because he's anticipating a lot of joy, fulfillment and abundance with the current path he's on. But he's actually going to find a lack of success. So it's going to be a tough lesson, but I feel it's necessary. And, I f you know... I think the best thing for you right now might be to let him go through this and of course that's not easy because you're going to have to step back from this refocus your energy focus on yourself um it might take a bit of time for this to play out but in the end you're going to have someone here who is more balanced more reasonable um who has a broader perspective who's willing to compromise to see things from other people's perspective from your perspective so I feel this is, you know, divinely guided. I do think this is this is supposed to happen right now. And um, yeah, it looks like your person's heading for some kind of um, an awakening, an unpleasant awakening. OK, so thank you so much, everyone. Take care and um, I will see you on Friday. Definitely. And I will probably come out with another bonus reading tomorrow. Um, perhaps the reading that was second, the second winner, however you phrase it, runner-up, um, for four, 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 <laughs> speak Amelia, from, or for, no, from the poll that I put out um, on a Sunday night. Okay, right. Goodbye. I have officially run out of words. My mouth doesn't want to work, so I will leave. Have a nice evening, have a nice day, and speak soon. Bye.